Whisper of the Heart, Part 8, Threads of Memory The snow had melted, leaving the world outside Alice's home damp and quiet, as if winter itself was taking a final breath before spring arrived. Inside, the warmth from the hearth was more symbolic than necessary no longer to fend off the cold but to serve as a familiar companion in the twilight hours they had come to share. Alice sat near the window, gazing out at the soft gray sky, her fingers running absent-mindedly over a quilt she had started years ago but never finished. The unfinished squares seemed to echo the thoughts swirling in her mind. Fragments of memories, moments that were both behind and ahead of her. Jack entered the room, his movements slower these days, but steady. He had been spending more time at Alice's house, their days blending into each other, as if the past, present, and future had all collapsed into a single, endless moment. Yet, something hung in the air between them tonight, a sense that while they had spoken about the future and the end, there was still something left unsaid. I remember you starting that quilt ages ago. I always thought you'd finish it someday. I always thought I would too. But life got in the way as it tends to. There were always more pressing things to focus on. Now, I'm not so sure I'll ever finish it. Does it matter if you finish it? Or is it enough that you started, that each stitch you made was part of your story? Question. Do you believe that unfinished things like this quilt hold meaning or is it only the finished product that matters? A. Unfinished things hold meaning they reflect the journey, not just the outcome. B. It's the finished product that matters, it's what you complete that tells your story. C. Both have meaning the process is important, but finishing something gives it purpose. Answer A. Unfinished things hold meaning. They reflect the journey, not just the outcome. I think unfinished things hold their own kind of meaning. They tell the story of who we were at the time, what we were going through, and the choices we made along the way. Sometimes, life doesn't give us the chance to finish everything, but that doesn't make it any less important. It's the journey that counts, not just the end result. I like that. Maybe this quilt doesn't need to be finished to mean something. It's a reflection of the time I've lived, the things I've experienced. It's imperfect, but it's real. Like all of us, I suppose, imperfect but real. The fire crackled gently in the background as the room filled with a peaceful silence. Alice set the quilt down beside her and looked at Jack, her eyes soft with an understanding they no longer needed words to express. Yet, despite their shared peace, there was still a wait between them, one last conversation they both knew they had to have. Jack, we've talked so much about the time we have left and what comes after, but what about the things we'll leave behind, not just the memories, but the physical things, like this quilt, like the letters we've written? Do you ever wonder what will happen to those things, who will find them, and what they'll mean to the people who come after us? I've thought about it. The things we leave behind, they become part of someone else's story, don't they? It's strange to think that something as small as a letter or an old photograph can hold so much meaning for someone else, someone who may not even know us. 
Question. Do you think the objects we leave behind carry the same weight as our memories, or do they lose their meaning without us? A. Objects carry weight because they're tied to our stories, they don't lose meaning. B. Objects lose their meaning without us, memories are what really matter. C. Objects can carry meaning, but only if those who find them understand their significance. Answer. C. Objects can carry meaning, but only if those who find them understand their significance. I think objects can carry a lot of meaning, but it depends on who finds them and what they understand about them. A letter might just be words on a page to some, but to someone who knows the story behind it, it can hold a lifetime of meaning. It's not the objects themselves, but the context we leave behind that gives them their weight. I suppose that's true. Maybe that's why I've kept certain things over the years, because they remind me of the stories behind them. Even if no one else knows their meaning, they mean something to me. But I wonder, will anyone remember us after we're gone, or will the things we leave behind just fade into the background of someone else's life? The light from the fire flickered, casting shadows that danced across the room. Outside, the sky was darkening, the world preparing to slip into night. Jack sat quietly for a moment, his hand resting on Alice's as they both considered the legacy of the physical and emotional remnants they would leave behind. I don't know if anyone will remember us, at least not in the way we remember ourselves. But maybe that's okay. Maybe it's not about being remembered exactly as we were. It's about the imprint we leave behind, the way we've touched people's lives, even if they don't know the full story. Question. Do you think it's important to be remembered as we were, or is it enough to leave an imprint even if the details fade? A. It's important to be remembered for who we truly were, not just an imprint. B. Leaving an imprint is enough, the details don't matter as much as the impact we made. C. Both. We want to be remembered, but we should also accept that the details will fade. Answer. B. Leaving an imprint is enough. The details don't matter as much as the impact we made. I think it's enough to leave an imprint. The details of who we were, they'll fade with time, but the way we touched people's lives, that stays. It's not about being remembered for every little thing we did. It's about knowing that we made a difference, even if the specifics get lost along the way. I think I can live with that, knowing that in some way we've left a mark. Even if no one remembers all the details, they'll remember the feeling we gave them. That's enough for me. The room had grown dim, the last light of day slipping away as the fire burned down to glowing embers. Jack and Alice sat quietly, their hands still entwined, as the weight of their conversation began to settle around them. They had come to terms with the fragility of time, the importance of love, and the legacy they would leave behind, not in the objects or the details, but in the connections they had made and the lives they had touched. So, what do you say? Should we keep stitching our stories together, one piece at a time? Yes, one stitch at a time, and even if we never finish it, that's okay. Because every moment we've lived has been part of something bigger than us. 
The fire crackled softly, filling the room with warmth and light as they sat together, knowing that even in the unfinished moments, there was meaning. Their stories, woven together like the threads of Alice's quilt, would live on, carried forward by the love and memories they had shared. And so, in the quiet of the evening, Alice and Jack stitched the final threads of their shared story, knowing that even in the unfinished moments, they had left a lasting imprint on the world around them. Five Words Related to the Theme of Whisper of the Heart Part 8 Threads of Memory Reflection, the act of looking back on life's moments and understanding their significance. Legacy, the lasting impression left behind even when the details fade. Imprint, the subtle mark one leaves on the world through love and connection. Continuity, the thread that ties the past, present, and future together in one shared story. Symbolism, the meaning we find in objects, memories, and moments that represent something greater than themselves. 